Okay guys, back from the field this afternoon. Uh, two more successful flights. I now got it all painted up, decals on it, and all the strobes and lighting done on it as well. I actually had the top strobe, there was nothing wrong with it, but I had the polarity on the bulb soldered backwards from the last video I did. And it synchronized with the bottom one down there. Now then, you'll notice that there's one here on the tail too that's not active, but it comes on when I drop the flaps. So it's kind of like an indicator that when I drop the flaps and the flaps come on, that strobe comes on. These are all uh, one watt Cree lights that I have on here wired through a dimension engineering control board. I've had to rearrange the channels on my radio, which I had independent camera and pilot head control here so that I could use the two channels for the folding wing. So right now they're coupled with the rudder and the nose steering, so which is still all right since I've only got 10 channels. I could actually like to set this up on 12 channels, but I'm using 10 for that. Uh, but it worked pretty good and you'll notice I had the props off of it so that I don't have another accident like I had last time. So I now had the white strobes on the uh, wingtip in conjunction with the formation nav lights that are on it. I did them a little differently than uh, I did on my last Tiger Cat where they were actually mounted a little further right here. But that hole, let me get it out of the light here block that light you'll see that hole in the wing right there so that I can drive the manual carbon spar into the wing for storing the wing and keeping the pressure off of the motors and all the linkages and stuff like that or flying it that way it's just another set of locking rods that I have in it everything's now painted kind of hard to see it's nighttime here and I'm trying to show this out in my garage But got the flaps all painted up and the zinc on them. There we go. There's all the way down. I decided to go away from the gray and I went with the zinc chromate or interior green actually. I like it. it kind of adds some pizzazz to the airplane. At least for this one. Um, still got my other two spare fuselages that one right there which was a damaged one that I received but I kind of got it fixed up and uh, it's the alternate for this set of wings that's on here this guy which is the prototype a little differently on the interior the one that I had the accident with the other day kind of got it fixed back up it's probably going to end up being a jungle cat here later on with the spare set of wings and uh, another set of nacelles but anyway you'll see the first set of wings that I've got down there those actually have the 460 kV motors on them with 70 amp ESC's that we did a lot of the power testing with uh, back when I was working with Rich on this plane when it first came out but it looks pretty good the nav lights are, are visible during the day the white is a little hard to see in the middle of the afternoon about noon four o'clock but come come around evening time as the sun's starting to go down very very visible in flight <clears throat> like I said I've got them all on different strobing sequences and so forth and I really like the dimension engineering light setup but you can see it there I'll kind of get down at a different angle here and we'll bring the wings down And 
when the flaps come up, my tail strobe goes off and all I've got are these. And I can actually control the other lights on this thing as well just by setting them to work with the channel. Right now I just have them where they're constantly on. Uh, I did have this set at one point. was playing around with it where none of the lights came on except for the stock uh, FMS lights that come on when you plug it in. But the other lights wouldn't even activate until the throttle crossed 25%. So when it was down or they were they were only on when it was 25 percent or lower than when you were up flying around full throttle to keep kind of conserve the battery I had them where they were off except for the red and green lights so just different ways to doing it and guys I can't tell you how much I like these new FMS stands I know that some other people have made these but FMS has really made a really nice one and these things are excellent to work on and easy to fold down. Just that knob right there folds down really thin. You really quick fold that sucker flat, lay it in your pickup or in the back of your car. And they fit just about, well as a matter of fact, they fit every single airplane I got in here. I can configure it in so many different ways just by changing how far apart it is and how tall or how low. Those are excellent stands. I even had to go buy me another one. Got me a gold and a red one excellent stands I highly recommend anybody get one of these one of those they are absolutely nice and actually FMS's are the cheapest around they're only 59 where most people are selling them for like 79 69 79 but we'll show the wings again here one more time like I said I now have four flights on the airplane with folding wings and it absolutely works flawlessly so I'm actually putting it through at paces, and I don't mean gentle flights, I actually rang it out. I was doing some hard yanking and banking, even though I only have the 440 kV motors in this. My next step will be to upgrade the motors to the 460s, and I'm actually going to change the prop on it, because I'm flying with three different props, the stock props, non-counter-rotating setups, uh, the T28 Trojan props, and the next prop I'm going to try with the spinner, since the La Patrona had a spinner on it one time, is that P4, is that uh, zero, 1400 millimeter zero prop. I've already checked the fit. You do have to take the uh, engine, the dummy engines off. But I found several props that actually fit. And uh, just a little bit of change in amperage on the draw a little bit, but <clears throat> 5, 10 amps is not much. Uh, and you can put it with have a set of spinners on it it actually makes it a little more streamlined and the next the other one that I have fitted that uh, fits down in there I actually have to shave the cowl a little bit to get it fit I haven't I haven't uh, spun it up yet but is the the spinner and the prop set off of the uh, BF 109 except using the older props uh, so that it keeps it down to a 14 inch prop because that's actually a 15 when it's set up like that the uh, Tiger Cat props, which are the Corsair and several others th that they use on this, are actually will actually fit on these spin on these spinners I just showed you. So we'll end this with the wings coming up, the gear coming back down because I'm still playing around with gear door sequences and getting my gear doors where they actually open further by putting longer throw arms on the serv servos that they have in there. But I thought that strobe setup looked really good. Talk to you guys later. Hope you hope to see you guys enjoy and have fun. Let's all keep an eye on what's going to go on at Joe and all. It's going to be an interesting one this year. And may actually see me there here shortly.